guy can already tell that uh, music, I love music, everybody loves music, and the reason is not far-fetched, very simple. Music is the fastest means to transport any message. Yes, and that's why all over the world, or world over, the easiest way to have fame or blue or get a message to travel is to put them in songs. Gone are the days when if you want a message to pass around, you write them in text, put them in books and all that. These days, music is the fastest way to transport message. It travels very fast, that you can think. Now today I'm talking about a musician in Nigeria, an accidental celebrity if you want, an accidental center force. Yeah, but I'll explain. Now there's a void in the Nigerian entertainment cool aspira street aspiration movement. Fela it was that used to be the face of galvanizing the streets and it was because Fela realized it. Let me tell you something about what makes a music evergreen. Whatever will make a music last long is if you use the, the message or the music to convey the yearnings, the aspiration of the people. Yeah, that song would be evergreen. And you can remember some music, for instance. We even professors at universities who make reference to them to say, according to one musician, he said, just as they make reference also to parables. Alright? Now, let us come to contemporary times. The reason musicians come and go, come and go, come and go, is because they are not necessarily using their music to carry the street aspiration. Let me come back to Olamide. Olamide used to be the face or the center force of street aspiration in terms of entertainment or music. Olamide even boasted at one point that he is the street of the mainland or king of the mainland and he even warned Don Jazzy you don't come to the mainland though you and your Marvin boys none of you should come you know what that means at that point it was a center force it was the voice of the street and he thought he was going to maintain that forever no the only reason he could not be relevant forever or maintain that forever was because it did not transmit or transit it to the next stage of what the street is expecting. Now, let me tell you about what the street is expecting or what the masses are expecting. Yeah, they can easily re relate with you when you put your message or you list your message in music and all that. But there's always an unwritten desire of this mass of people. The unwritten desire is that they want you to take them to they are expecting something they know you have the talent yes they know you can sing yes they know you can do this yeah but they don't yeah after feeling that momentary or temporary enjoyment that if or sensation that they get from your music there's always this thing about human beings they want to see what is next from this okay yeah you have talent we can see that yeah you can sing yeah we, we, we feel that but is there something more it is that more that Nigerian contemporary artists lack which i want to advise naramali now naramali didn't see this coming let me quickly explain why olamide became voice of the street at the point it was because olamide was carrying aspiration on the street example of any duro pam 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 if you listen to the lyrics very well he, con he portrayed himself as somebody from the street who has suffered and a lot of people who became his fans could relate with it even when he remixed a money for worship by was trying to you know uh, he died we don't want to you know all of those things a lot of people in nigeria who have been affected by poverty could relate with it and like oh boy not so not so they related with it and that's exactly why they became his fans now these days when you go on the street and you hear people calling themselves malians malians to them what they meant is that they are fans of naira mali but they don't know that it also has connotation when they say somebody is a malian Malian to Mal Naira Mali means that 
Yes, you people relate with the story. I went to jail because I was trying to carry street aspiration. The only time Naramani became uh, or what the critical song or incident or event that made Naramani become voice of the street or face of the street was because at that point he carried the street aspiration by saying, See me see trouble. Am I a Yahoo boy? Meaning that anytime you the SARS, because at that time, NSAS was the in thing. People were actually asking for SARS, the special anti robbery squad, which later became the actual robbery squad in Nigeria. It was the time that Nigerians were agitating for the scrapping of SARS, for the disbandment of that unit in the force, because they had become armed robbers, carrying weapon, and legitimately robbing Nigerians. So anytime they see anybody that looks clean or fresh or carries dread, they want to harass and extort. So the song See Me See Trouble actually conveyed the emotion of many young Nigerians who wanted a stop to that rape by SARS. So automatically or suddenly or unexpectedly, Naira Mali because he was also harassed because of that song, became the new face of voice of the streets. Now, Naramali wasn't expecting that he would suddenly become that kind of center force. He then came back to say that, ah, Yahoo boys, you hold me, oh. if you saw that thing on social media, on Instagram, he said, you Yahoo, you hold me, oh. I went to jail because of you people. Meaning that a lot of people therefore felt that, oh, yeah, this guy seems to understand the street aspiration. Let us make him a center force. Now, what he did not expect is that it had become a movement and he has not realized it. He too cannot control what then became of it in the sense that he was now trying to run away from that fan base. <laughs> and I'll explain. You see, or you saw how he had to take his show away from mainland in December to go and do Malian Fest on the island he can't control that fan base because he was not expecting that kind of thing he like other musicians that come before him just wanted to make money smoke ego and go smoke ego make money carry women have your time and go but hey you can become evergreen if you know what to do use your music to carry straight aspiration and i was expecting at the time he went to kiri kiri I was expecting somebody like an Aramani to go to Kirikiri, come out and use his music. Yeah, you have dropped Soapy, fine. But a lot of people are expecting you to come out and tell the experience of innocent Nigerians suffering in Kirikiri. If you had used his music to do that, that song would be ever green than Soapy. Soapy yeah, gave momentary sensation, people felt it and blah blah blah, danced to it, moved to it and that was it. You now have to start doing Opo, other things to follow it. None of Fela's songs made another irrelevant none of fella songs make another of his songs irrelevant every of his songs stood evergreen on its own but why do we now have a situation in this country where you will sing one song and you are looking to compete with it again or looking to compete with other artists because you have failed to understand that there's something that fan base is looking for that you are not doing they have a punk they have they have a journey they have an aspiration that they wish that somebody through entertainment that they can relate with can actually carry them through but you guys are failing and i make an example of bobby wine in uganda bobby wine later realized that is to remain evergreen and to remain a relevant <coughs> artist for a very long time he needed to then transmute or transit it into kind the street aspiration through and that is why today Bobby Wine is a major opposition in that country and is going to be president whether you like it or not now when they are saying Naraman is the modern day fella it is because they actually want him to be they actually want Naramali having become the voice speaking the street aspiration they want him to now become the new fella because there is a void fella's death left if you ask an average person who calls himself a Malian on the street today, I asked one boy on my street the other day, 
about 13 years old. See, I'm a man, I'm a man. I said, What makes you a man? Why do you think you're a man? He said, Ah, Baba. Eh, I might even got a lot cure by if you big boy, darling. You go me. So you go is the meaning of Malian? No. But Naramali does not know that is not, that is the meaning people who are his fans give to it. It's different from the meaning he has in his head. To some, being a Malian means you are a fan of Naramali. To others, being a Malian means yes, I reckon with that guy because he went to face problem of EFCC and he came out like fella did. And they are expecting him to be the new fella. Unfortunately, or funny enough, Naramali is not even prepared for that kind of a thing and he's not even interested. He just wants to make money quickly. You know, I'm sorry they are usually surrounded by the same PR people who will move from one artist to the other, managing them, telling them, oh, quickly make your money, another person will come on stage. Quickly make your money, another person will come. Now, it is not only Naramali. Even Olami, the Bonner boys, Latana, they are currently the wave of the time. And they are also going to go down very soon. Because before the second quarter of this year, we are going to start seeing another set of musicians coming to this office again and overriding all of you. But you have a chance. Convert this to a movement. Start carrying their aspirations. Start telling the government what your fans want and need. You can see that Naramali cannot even control it because that is not what he wanted. He just wanted to make money and go. Unfortunately, the streets wanted him to use his music, his masterpiece and his piece. So carry them along and use them or convey them transport them to do what is what they want all of these people that call themselves malians today and all that they are smoking they are doing all these things because the government has frustrated them and that's why they are doing what they do and as a result they see Nera Mali as that new face of the movement now let me tell you Nera Mali you will be relevant for a while but if you don't know how to transmute it I don't I don't enjoy Naramali's song, I'm sorry. It's just somehow accidental or coincidental that here yeah, because the carries it go, a lot of people feel that's the definition of fella now. You know, this young generation. There are three things that kill or that retires an artist. Number one, your fans. Olamide is no longer the face of the street now. Naramali he is or Bona Boy if you like, or Zlatan, or any of these ones. Okay, Olamide they used to be, but he failed to transit to the next level, and that's going to lead me to an advice, a piece of advice for all artists: don't tie your career around a politician. I've said it before. Don't tie your career around a politician. I don't know whether there was Olik Five last in 2019, but I'm aware that it was Lagos State Government headed by Ambody that used to sponsor Olamide Life in concerts. Funny enough, Olamide tied his career around Ambody, and the moment Ambody left, there was no more money. And Olamide is now singing Enugbe. He's now looking to associate with Akpagyori in Ogun. Say, we himself is broke, looking for money to tie roads in Ogun State. <laughs> you can see what we are talking about. Okay? So, having said that, don't tie your career around the politician, because the moment that politician goes down, you go with them. The reason whiskey is still relatively relevant today is that the guy did not use, did not join political campaigns as such, or was not using his music to sectionalize himself with the politician. He was just carrying the street aspiration, and that's it. He was just singing for singing and fun, and he would just do his music, make good song, and move on. The best of songs ever. The best of songs ever are the ones that are used to narrate the ordeal, the aspiration, the experiences of people, tell stories of people. That song will be evergreen. Fellow songs pass through generations. My father, your father, your parents, listen to Fella. We are listening to Fella. Our children will listen to Fella. It's very simple. But artists have come and gone after Fella. Thousands of them. But their songs are just momentary because they don't carry the true story of people don't tie your career around the politician because the moment that politician goes down you go with them 
So there was nobody to sponsor League Five. And all I is gradually crashing. I learned the other day that I didn't see the video, but somebody told me that they saw a video, a video chat of him begging Zlatan for money. All I mean, of all people. I don't know. Maybe it was just a transaction between them. I don't know. But that is just to say, even if I didn't see that, even if that was not true or just a rumor, at least we heard Enugbe. He even sang it as a song. Enugbe. Alayi Enugbe. Or then, all I mean, of all people. That means these things, if you don't have the acumen or surround yourself with people that can give you the future orientation, you will just be momentary and that will, that will be the end. That will be the end. Use your music to convey message, to tell story, to carry the street aspiration, and you are going to be evergreen. And that's the point. Now, Mali did not expect this, and that's why he's trying to run away from his fans from the mainland, going to the island looking for money, people that will pay. Funny enough, the Malians refused to let it slide. They went to Highland and the scaling first to enter the show. Whether we pay or we don't pay, we want to see Nara Mali because he's the one who has come to accidentally represent our aspiration. We are frustrated people. And we can see that somehow his songs want to relate with what we are looking for. Uh -huh. Okay, having said that, my advice for Nara Mali is yes, make your money, do whatever you want to do, but to remain evergreen, accidentally, just do like Bobby Wine. Start using your music to res to represent street aspiration. It's very important, very key, very fundamental, and that is not to exclude Olamide. Olamide can still go back. Olamide can still because if you remember the Olamide started, I would say started losing the current when he deviated completely from singing those cosmopolitan Yoruba rap songs that will carry street aspiration that will, people can relate with that this is our story story of somebody suffering story of poverty and all that tell their stories even if you don't want to tell poverty story tell stories of people and use it to advise government to do what is right for people you will remain relevant you will come up again and be, maintain your championship but then and I will even remember most of Olamide's recent songs did not really blow like that of Bella Smother. And the reason Bella Smother's song was a little relevant with Olamide is because when he rapped into that song, that song carried street aspiration yet again. Oh, four years in Lasso is really nothing. If you listen to Belash Mother's song and when Olamide came in with his style that all of us, the middle of us, endeared to him. You know that kind of it carries a lot of millions of people's aspirations, millions of people's experiences, their story. Listen to Belash Mother and Olamide, you can understand it. So when you do all of these things, you will understand. And I'm just dropping this because, you know, you never know. Naramali can see it and understand and begin to walk in that line. Naramali needs to begin to use his music to carry the aspirations of his fans. It's not just about you wanting to make money alone and go or carrying the ball up and down. No. Yeah, you can do that as a way of your own addiction or habit. Yeah, it's fine. People have their habits. Even pastors too. There are many gospel musicians who also smoke it, but I'm not going to mention names. But yeah, it's their thing. If they draw inspiration from it, it's fine. But the kind of inspiration they draw from it is what is important. Don't become a bad influence. You're an influence already. But don't become the one that everybody will want to retire into dustbin at the end of the day. Yeah, it's wave. It's momentary. You have the year wave, yes. It's momentary. But don't become the kind of influence that people want to retire into dustbin in a very short while. And that's the message I have for Naira Mali. Let me respond to comments very quickly. Uh, they are cowards. They don't have the boldness. Well, let's let's see. Why are people taking plenty of water seriously? You can know that he only has empty water in his head. Uh, my people, please ignore 
that thing called that called himself NC what I know. You people are taking it too seriously. It's not worth anything. Um so so what does Shore think about you insulting Kemilun lawyer and his friend Daddy Freeze? So that is from Plenty Water again. Should I even respond to that one? What does Shore think? Shore has his business, I have my business. Yeah, that I supported Shore because I felt he has the message of the street and he has a message that carries the aspiration of the people. Does not mean I'm living Shore's life. Shore is living this life, I'm living my life. I respect him, I respect Kemilun lawyer, but the moment even Shore I criticized Shore before and I will still do. I can criticize anybody if I feel oh this one is not consistent with what we expect from you. Kemilun lawyer did what I did not expect. Lying that all of us collected to two million naira from Timmy Dakolo. If if Timmy Dakolo had twelve million naira to pay media, why would he need a lawyer pro bono for his case on his wife for to, to defend his wife's case in court. Why would he need a pro bono lawyer? He would not need it. So came a little lawyer lied and I was there and I saw that it was total lie. So I had to call her out. So forget what you're saying. I love listening to your show. Good job, bro. Thank you so much, Steven on Steven Ajakai on Facebook. Keep it up the sky is your beginning. Thank you so much. Um, Shagun, don't let us deceive ourselves when the Oba cannot say the truth, so don't blame them. Forget the Obas, they have lost relevance. You are now looking at other opportunities uh, which can even come through entertainment or even through football. A footballer became president in his own country recently, and you remember that. All right, you're making sense, my brother. God, thank you so much. Yeah, you do. Uh, plenty of what I came back again. Oh, yeah, what about Shore's wife? Can Mandela? Madam's Mandela's wife claim another content against South Africa. I don't understand what this means. Write, write uh, simple English that somebody can understand. Plenty of water. Um, Prince possible say that's how you people spoil the country. Corruption everywhere. Absolutely. Uh, plenty of water came back says she wants her husband back home and home in New Jersey, but she really has not left Nigeria. He has not even gone to those states. He's still maintaining his bill. Times you see in Abuja, I don't understand your point. Plenty of water, you need to grow up. If you have children, I want to advise you plenty of water. I mean, yes, I know that there are so many stupid in, people in this country, and I'm not, I'm not averse to it, it's normal, okay, because of the situation of the country and frustration and all that. But I want to advise you don't let your children grow up with you, don't let them grow up around you. You know why? We cannot cope with another generation of stupid people, so we don't want you to use your orientation to teach your children. You, we have accepted that, yeah, you are like that. But please, don't let your children grow up with you. We cannot cope with another generation of stupid people. I'm sorry if I sound too rude. It's just an, a piece of advice. Leave for today since re referendum is the best for Nigeria. Yeah, but since that's not going to happen so cheaply, we have other works to do. You have to look at other methods and look at other avenues to make things better. Um, you people should go and fight for the Dua Republic. It's not going to be one person's job. I know that. But then, even before we split the country up, there's this thing I believe. There's this thing I believe that if we split this country, we are still going to have the same crop of people who are currently running the Southwest as their private business coming up again. We will not have to, although it will not be easier to manage, yes, because we now know who we are dealing with. Or like trying to deal with that at the same time deal with their bookies at the same time <laughs> with some other idiots you know yeah it will be easier for yoruba people to deal with their own problem in the southwest it will also be easier for those in the east to deal with their own problem as easterners because even prior to the colonial or colonialists the nigerian traditional systems had their own separate systems of oppression so we can always return to all of this regionally Okay, uh, I understand that. Um, yes, you cannot cope with it. It's so sad. Um, on last show on Facebook says Oshore has gone for medical checkup. Very important. Well, I don't have a right to decide for him, but I think he knows what is best for himself. Thank you, Alex. Ogenagove, Ogenagove, Ogenagove. 
I'm sorry if I didn't pronounce that well. Many of our young people are brain dead. Wow. Um, plenty of what I can say. Well, at least I will try to make sure my children are in public liars. You all can pretend like Shagun did not say she already did not support Shore in 2015. What is this one writing? She already did not support Shore in 2015. <laughs> you can even, if you read yourself, you know that you need you need attention medically i mean and psychologically um good morning Ogashi. again great analysis and i hope you can see this and implement as well your recommendation go beyond mu just music you can work for any work of art absolutely absolutely because i like i mentioned even if a footballer became a president recently and you know what that means so you might even be a pastor like Tony Bakari, although a lot of people believe controversially that he's not the kind of person because they believe he's also a flip flopper. I don't know. Um, it could even be, um, you might even be somebody who just does something. The moment you see that there's clouds following you for what you're doing and you have the right orientation, don't waste time. Just go straight into. Shora is an activist. How many people we need with activists in this country? People relate to music, relate to religion, relate to football, sports, and all that. Those are the three cardinals. Or even with an it might even be. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't like to say this. It might even be an Olu show. No, I don't have that talent. I don't even have the features. But imagine that I am somebody like. Uh, I'm sorry, this is not to disrespect anybody. If I'm, if I were cost you jackal, you know, and I know that people love me for what I am, what I carry around. Ah, the only thing I now need is right orientation. Carry the street aspiration straight. People don't want to be a shahu in a situation concern. I will not be leading people into the right. Start creating fora, forum where people can. Can discuss their aspirations, discuss this, and be channeling, be writing policy paper, and be channeling it to national assembly, and be saying we want this, we want that for our people. That's all. If I were a pastor, for instance, there are so many times I would just go on the altar and say we don't need to pray about this problem. For instance, there's poverty in the land. It's not because there's a spiritual problem. We are in, we have, we have enough adequate resources in this country, and I'll be writing, say, from what my members are saying. From what the streets are saying, we can feel the pulse. Connect with other people from there. Connect, and I'll expect that the show, for instance, can connect with musicians like the Naira Malis. Yeah, I think he tried a lot during this short period of campaign in 2019. Connecting with musicians who can carry their aspiration, who understand what people are feeling. Try to connect as much more. If Naira Mali can be on board, for instance, you know, he's currently the face before he loses it again. Because the money is going to lose you, like, you know, all these things he's doing are momentary, they are temporary. Yeah, people will feel the momentary sensation from what he's giving to them, and yeah. But it point another music. It just takes one more artist to come up again who will give them what they want, and they'll forget about Naira Mali. That's the way it is. <laughs> That's the way it is. So if Naira Mali cannot take the moment to transit into what will carry the street aspiration through to change their lot. It will just be relevant for just a while, for just a meantime, and that's the end. So, if it was Dino that collected donations from Nigerians like Shere and his wife comes out to make such speech, you will be the first to mock him. How many times have I mocked Dino Milai? I'm only mocked Dino Milai for using his platform, the opportunity he has, and the resources he has to buy toys. And be showing it off to poor Nigerians and hungry Nigerians that it can it can be this even in the face of mass and abject poverty. That is the only thing I criticize Dino Milai for. Otherwise, Dino Milai is a good guy. Plenty water, are you okay? The only thing I've criticized Dino Milai for is that he buys toys, expensive toys. No, I can't block him. We don't need to block plenty dirty water. We only need to teach him, especially if his children are watching this, so that they can know that their father is stupid. The only thing I've ever criticized him life for is that he's, he's not sensitive to the plight of the people who he claims to be representing. If you are representing Nigerians, 
and you know that there is mass poverty. You don't want to be buying expensive toys and be showing it off in your garage to spite them that in spite of their poverty, you have expensive toys. That's that's what I criticize you know, my life for. Otherwise, ask him, he knows me well. He will come to Lagos, he will carry me in his car, will be going up. I know him when he was when he was doing anti corruption campaign and I love him so much. But the day we stop being friends, or the day I ask him what is the source of his own wealth, and he was not comfortable with my question. So I like pathways. That's it. But outside of that, I love him a lie. So don't get this wrong, plenty of dirty water. Um next point please. I think the fear is that people usually feel that they may lose their base or support if they channel their strength to No. Look at look at Bobby Wine in Uganda. Look at Bobby Wine in Uganda. He did not in fact he even increased his fan base and even became a new political movement that the government in Uganda is afraid of. Because, for instance, in Nigeria, PDB can no longer be an opposition because they have been soiled with corruption. So soiled with corruption. So soiled with corruption. The new opposition that we can now have is a new person altogether. That is why, for instance, I like the idea of Omoyele Shore, who nobody can come out and say that they have given him bribe before he collected or anything. And he has not occupied a position before, so I have stolen any money. Somebody still mentioning Dino Milai. Yeah, Dino Milai. Another reason I really didn't like Dino Milai was because there was a time we had this um, uh, program against gender violence. They now called Dino Milai to come and be Dino Milai and Saraki. At the time, Saraki became Senate president, and they wanted Sar some people were sh shouting, some APC block were shouting that Sar Saraki should not be the Senate president, that they should remove him. They now call Dino Milai to be one of the keynote speakers. And I'm like, Dino Milai, does he have a wife? What is the story we heard about him and his wife? That he beat his wife out. We heard. We can't confirm. But I know he has children. Where's, the, where's their mother? So anybody that mistreats women and buys expensive toys to spite his mass of poverty stricken followers is not an ideal person in my own view. So. Dino Milai cannot be somebody of character that somebody like me can say, oh, totally I support. No. But left for me, I love him because he's vocal. And But I have to still criticize him if I truly love him. And that's what I'm doing. Just the same way I will criticize Shore if he does anything that I feel he should not do. Okay? I have criticized Shore before. Yeah, he first got a little upset with me, but later I understood that no, this guy is just speaking objectively. And that's it. If you cannot take it when we criticize you, you cannot lead us. That's a fact. Because if you have also been criticizing others and you don't want to be criticized, that's hypocrisy. Do you know the lie criticizes? And if you cannot stand criticism, I can't deal. We are criticizing because we want the best of you. And if you cannot stand criticism, forget it. So all of these people will just go out of the way in no time. Let's change topic from Dino and the rest of them. Um, okay, sure, bro. Who can't handle a wife can't handle a group of people? Absolutely. And that's the point. So are you... Plenty of water. Let me give other people a chance to talk because your points don't... don't that they are not consistent. Uh, Jackie S.C. says, uh, if Naramali run for president, people will still vote for him. That's, that's true. As of now... As of now, that's how dumb some Nigerians are. As of now, that's exactly what I'm saying. Many people will collect voters' card because of Naira Mali. Because for now, a lot of people have already been frustrated into smoking the book. But the funniest is that Naira Mali cannot even contest independently. You know why? Because the politicians he would have contested against are the ones sponsoring his concert and paying him. So you can there's no way he even rise. <laughs> He said they want to use it, so it will not make sense. You know. Uh, what's next? Okay. Anyways, I think at this point I'm going to have to say I don't want the broadcast to be too long, especially because of those that are not live right now to see. 
but who may want to play back. I don't want it to be too long for them as to discouraging them from watching Oliver. So let's keep it short as this. I'm going to say thank you so much, guys, for always sticking to this channel to listen to what we have to say. I'm going to leave you with Larry Safari as I go off. Bye for now. So far, on the door, free us, 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 free then they say I be Satan, Satan, Satan. Cause I believe I be winner, winner, winner. Stop calling me a sinner, a sinner, sinner. If you truly believe in the church, oh, as I don't want to know. If you really believe in the mosque, oh, me, I don't want to know. If you believe in the past also, as I don't want to know. If you believe in any in mama, me, I don't want to know. Make you shine your eyes, uh huh. And free yourself, oh, no, no, no. Make you shine your eyes, uh huh.